Hi all, welcome back. Hal here with Imperion. So, for the folks who tuned in for the live stream one Friday, um, I was basically wandering around doing a little bit of stuff. We were talking about some of the, the tips and tactics. And I ended up having to throw that entire portion of the live stream away. Uh, about two hours, two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, a, a issue where the background music will start playing and that music needs to be licensed individually so um, yeah I'm unfortunately not spending a hundred bucks to do it so you get the cap <laughs> you get the the time warp version um, yeah so the small base that I started working on is as you can see pretty much done as far as a first base is concerned you know, we come in and you've got everything that you would normally need, core. And then what I've done is we have a dedicated farm area. Just to show you, I still need to make six more uh, farming blocks. And then that'll be done. And then the only thing I need to do is I'll be putting three more refrigerators. I'll have one here, here, and here. And then for everything else we have regular storage. So the idea is that that way I can farm as much as I want, fill it up, and then move things over here as I need to to craft, and then um, store the final output in this crafting, uh, this particular crafting refrigerator storage. So I actually have made a couple of the sandwiches. Um, for what you get out of the the, mater the materials you put into it, it's not really that good. Um, the nice thing is, is that it, yes, it does basically allow you to take three slots because it takes the bread, tomato, and then you have to use um, the salami. One of each of those, you get a sandwich. Well, your sandwich is only giving you 160 food. Tomatoes give you 25. Bread gives you 75. That's or 70. So you're 95 right there. And then the uh, salami gives you, I think, a hundred. By itself, let me see here. Yeah, 100 by itself. So you're getting almost 200 food out of the ingredients, but it's only taking one slot. So it's like, which is really more important to you? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it might just be better to go ahead and make the the emergency rations. But, eh, again, it's one of those, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other, what makes the most sense for, for you. Um, I made them just, you know, why not? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so as you can see, I have been doing a little bit of farming. Um, actually, let me go get the rest of the water and oxygen. So, what I have been doing is... I have uh, been working on this on the escape pod, turning it into a ship. Unfortunately, I am completely out of silicon now, so what I need to do is actually go. Um, we need to go harvest some, um, but the ship is not armed. In fact. The ship is not fully engined, <laughs> so let me grab these really quick. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go put the last couple of engines on. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, so basically what I did here, just to explain this really quick, is that we have the stairs up. Yes, I could have put an elevator in and saved the space, but I personally like the stairs better. Um, it's just the aesthetic is better for me. So when you come up, we have windows on all sides. This is going to be a small habitation area. I'll put in a, a bed and probably like a kitchenette or something over here. Um, the stairwell also has the skylights. You come outside. I've, did, I've done the double doors so that you have an airlock. Oh no. And yeah, so that's the base. I need to come out and put some lighting and a bunch of other stuff, but uh, you know, we'll deal with that when we get to it. So now the question is, is where do I want to put the engines? Do I want to put them back here or do I want to put them up here? 
Let's put him up here. See how that works. Oh, perfect. So much better than it was. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely worth the uh, the extra motor for this. Okay. And at some point I am going to need to fix that landing gear. But I think to do that... Oops. I think to do that I need silicone. Let's go check. Just to make sure. Because if I don't need the electronics... Uh, oh, I can make one. Oh, I have enough electronics. Nice. Got lucky on that. Okay. So, we will go power this thing up, throw this landing gear on it so that it'll stand. And we're going to go harvest some uh, silicone. Silicone. Come on. Almost done. You can do it. Alright. So, yeah, like I was saying, with um, the live stream, unfortunately... Um, they hit me with a copyright, so I had to get rid of the video. Um, I, when I went in to try to modify the video so that I could keep using it and just not use that particular uh, track, um, it didn't work out so well. Basically, YouTube said, no, you can't do that, so it's okay. Missing a block here. Yes? Is that right? Yes. Okay. While well, we're here, let's fix this thing up. Uh, not sure why that's a block there. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a nice ship now. Okay. So, let's uh, finish repairing this thing. Got landing gear on it now. Okay. And we are going to level her out a little bit. And kill power. Okay. So we now have an operational ship, which is good. We need to go grab some food, resupply our oxygen, and then we are heading that way to go take on the uh, whatever's over by the silicon. Silicon! Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab the oxygen. We are going to eat our sandwich and our steak alright so we are full and now let's go get some silicon So yeah, I didn't really want to be using this particular ship. Um, oh, that's a drone. That's a drone. We need to go land. I forgot the drones were over here. Where you at, buddy? I saw you. Where are you coming? Yeah, I forgot they had the drones on this one. <laughs> yeah, I had just been talking about how I killed a bunch of the other ones too. That's a minigun drone too, huh? Alright. We'll hoof it over here a little bit. 
Oh, jetpack's still on. That's why I'm not able to run. So, oh. so let's go kill us a drone. I don't really need the cobalt so much as I do silicon. Oopsie. One. Now the question is, is, are there two of them over here now? Hey, more ammo. That's nice. Any ammo you don't have to make, right? Okay, so we've got the ammo. We've got... The drone is down. Harvest some meat. So, um, one of the things I'm going to do is put a refrigerator on the ship as well. So I've been making space on the ship for all of the things that I want to add, like a, a second power pack. And here... Oh, that's why. Okay. I was going to say, I hear the dinosaurs, so... So yeah, I, one of the things I want to do is put a second power supply on this thing. Because with the main thrusters, it eats power very quickly. Um, man, how do you keep... So what I'm going to do is put a uh, another power supply here, over the, the rear thruster. Um, and we'll come back and repair, you know, all of the stuff that's broken on it. Fix her up, make her nice. Yeah. And we are now going to head over here to go hit the silicon deposit. And I think there is another drone over here. I don't remember. It's iron. So, is it over here? Yep, there's the silicon. Talk about pinpoint landings. Okay. So I hear things shooting at me. Why do we hear things shooting at me? Is that I'm fairly certain there is a drone over here. So let's go uh, see if we can find it. Now what I need to do is. I hear things, but I am not. Oh, hello. Yeah, at least you are not aggressive, right? At least I don't think you're aggressive. I hope you're not aggressive. <laughs> okay. So, let's go see if we can... Get us some silicone. And if we can get us some silicone, we are going to be good. See, I know there is a drone. There should be a drone here somewhere. But I guess not. Alright. So, one of the things that I uh, was talking to people about uh, during the live stream was when you are mining one of the things that you can do you know you, you have the right and left triggers everybody knows this right 
So if you look at your burn rate when you're on uh, your left and right trigger, it gives you a fairly constant speed right, of how fast you uh, burn your ammo. So one of the things you want to do is to basically level out a small area that you're working from and then to dig a small hole so as you're mining your resources fall down in here with you. So the other thing you can do is that when you're mining if you do both right and left mouse it doubles your uh, extraction rate but as you can see you burn your fuel much faster. But if you're trying to mine things quickly this will do it. And that is how you do speed mining. <laughs> so yeah, so right mouse button, left mouse button, it goes so much faster. And that's why you do the uh, small pocket to catch everything. So if, if once you get into zero G, one of the things I learned in uh, Space Engineers is that mining in zero G, everything's going to kind of fly away from you. So what you're going to want to do is instead of heading straight to the resource that you're trying to harvest, go off to the one side of it and burrow into the asteroid. And when we get into zero G, I'll, I'll definitely show you how to do this, but you basically cut a pilot hole, like a small tunnel, into the side of the asteroid and uh, harvest from inside. So as you're mining, the debris doesn't really have anywhere it can go, because otherwise you're going to be chasing it through the, <laughs> the depths of space, and that is not fun, nor pl uh, <laughs> a good way to spend your time. So. Oh, hello. That was a little too much. It won't go quite that far up. Because there's some silicon left over there. Alright, so that gave me 231. That's more than enough for now. I don't really need much more than that. Because um, that is going to give me, what, 50 or 60 uh, ingots. And that is more than enough for what I'm doing. So, basically what I need it for at this point is to make the, um, the core, because uh, I need to make, I'm going to go make a space station, that's what I'm working on now. So, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode at this one, I uh, appreciate everybody stopping in today, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button on the way out. If you have not done so, please feel free to subscribe, um, it will keep you up to date on what's going on, not only in this series, as but also in all my other series, as well as when I go live to do the live streams. Um, so yeah. If you have any feedback, tips, or suggestions, well, you know where the comment section is. And I am heading the complete wrong way. <laughs> so, yeah, so go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, take care, everybody. As always, be safe out there.